guys, it's Anke from LuckyLawLie.com. Today I will share how I pickle cucumbers and I will add a list with the ingredients at the end of this video. So the last couple of years since I started pickling our own cucumbers, I struggled with getting crunchy cucumbers as a result. So some were smushy, some were a little crunchy, but not the way we liked them. This year I finally listened to what my mom said and followed her way of picking cucumbers step by step. I adjusted the ingredients a little bit, but other than that, I actually learned the mistakes I made the years before. It was the temperature of the water canner and the time I left them in there. So I learned it the hard way, but this year we have awesome pickles. The taste and the consistency of the pickles are perfect and my husband actually told me that these are the best pickles he ever had. And I can tell you they are super super crunchy and mouth watering. But let's stop talking and get to work. After I cleaned all my cucumbers I will prepare the brine for that. I will cook water, vinegar, salt and sugar, bring it to a boil until all the salt and sugar is dissolved. And then I will set it aside so it can cool off a little bit. We always buy our pickling cucumbers at a local farmer because we don't have any pickling cucumbers in our veggie garden. My pickling glasses are cleaned and ready to use. I picked some fresh dill from the garden and prepared the spice mix. For my spice mix, I use pepper and mustard kernels and I figure it's it's best to use equal amounts of those two, give it in a bowl, mix it, and I just store the leftovers I have in a jar for the next time I need them. I also cut medium-sized onions into quarters and prepared dill flowers and leaves and got my dried bay leaves out of the shelf. Let's fill the glasses. I start by adding two teaspoons of my spice mix, one quarter onion, one bay leaf, and one dill flour into each glass. And then I stuff in as many cucumbers as possible and top them with one or two dill greens. I filled up my jars with my brine almost to the top and before clothing them I made sure the rims were clean and the ring secure on the lids. After I had finished all that, I placed the jars in the water canner and filled it up with water to short underneath the lid of the jars. Now I turned my canner to 90 degrees Celsius and I immediately turned it off when the temperature was at 90 degrees. I let the jars in the canner for 30 minutes with the lid of the canner slightly off. After removing the jars from the water canner, I let them on the counters to completely cool down overnight before I stored them in the basement. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you want to give me a like or subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.